Florida is one of the nation's fastest growing states, both in population and employment. People come here to live, work, and play. More businesses, visitors, and residents require a robust transportation system with enough capacity to easily move all those people and goods where they need to go. To do this, the Florida Department of Transportation, or FDOT, works to help meet the state's increasing transportation needs. We are committed to providing a safe transportation system that ensures the mobility of people and goods, enhances economic prosperity, and preserves the quality of our communities and environment. As we evaluate transportation options, we consider the noise impacts associated with growth. When we study the impacts of noise, we use the same noise evaluation process for each project. There is a state and federally approved noise analysis approach that we use to determine impacts and whether noise walls are feasible and reasonable so that they meet the FDOT requirements. This evaluation helps determine if adding a noise wall would be an effective use of transportation funding. This process is used throughout all 50 states and usually starts during the early project development phase, well before construction. We conduct a noise study when we are building a new highway or making significant changes to an existing one, such as the addition of a new traffic lane or a major shift of the roadway alignment. During the noise analysis, we identify noise-sensitive areas closest to the roadway. Our traffic engineers predict future traffic volumes a project may add to the roads. We enter existing traffic and forecasted future traffic into the Federal Highway Administration's, or FHWA's, traffic noise model, along with natural and constructed features in the area. This model is used to determine what future noise levels may be in comparison to existing noise levels to calculate noise impacts. To accurately predict each project's traffic noise, we collect sample field measurements of existing noise to validate that the model is working accurately for each project. When determining if a noise wall is a feasible and reasonable solution, we consider several variables. First, we evaluate if the noise wall will reduce future traffic noise for impacted areas. The governing standards for this determination is to achieve a benefit of a 5 decibel reduction for two impacted receptors and a 7 decibel reduction for one benefited receptor. Then we calculate the cost of building the noise wall per FDOT cost criteria. Next, we determine if it is possible to be constructed in the location that would provide the noise reduction benefit. Finally, we make sure that the property owners and residents actually want a noise wall. As you can see, there is a lot that goes into the decision to construct a noise wall. A few things to note about this process. We know that large construction projects often are noisy, but in this process, construction noise is not considered as part of the noise study, only the noise resulting from the traffic of a completed highway project. Not all highway traffic noise goes away with the construction of a noise wall. In fact, the biggest noise reduction is observed directly behind the wall. And finally, noise-sensitive land uses, such as homes, that are permitted for construction after the project development and environment study is approved, also known as the date of public knowledge, will not be considered in future phases of the project. By following this established policy, we are able to make fair and informed decisions regarding increased noise and seek balanced solutions that work for the community. As Florida continues to grow, we'll work to reduce the sounds of growth and progress while continuing to preserve the quality of our environment and communities.